on my way up to the hunting grounds Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving and I just saw another nice buck on private property of course now let's see if we can get a look at this one yeah he's <laughs> chasing a couple of does There's the does. Look at Mr. Buck. Meep. 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 Nice little forky. So the rut is still on. Damn. If you're wondering why that uh, sunshade is always on my back seat, because I put my bow on it to protect my seat from the broadheads. <laughs> well, I'm going to hunt the 100 acre woods this morning. Just jumped a buck. I think it was with the doe. They were right in here. Unfortunately, they saw me first. right here on the other side of that branch oh my god why couldn't that have been a three or a four or a five point oh my 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 look at this and there's their game cam <laughs> oh. I can't tell if it's a doe or a buck First one was a buck. Well, if that was a buck there, I'd have that one. But it's not. There's about a 15 yard shot. I just have a feeling that was the buck. Usually does, when they leave, or you spook them, they leave together. When one deer peels off and makes a uh, real point of concealing itself, and the other deer that you can see plainly is a doe, that's probably a good indication that the unseen deer is a buck. I am in the thickest part of the 100 acre woods right now. But the deer love this stuff. There are tracks on every one of these trails here. Deer, right between those two little trees. It's a doe, that's about 25 yards. But you see that shot right there? 
That's the same shot I had at my Idaho buck this year. Only at 128 yards downhill and in the trees. And I just didn't take it. Actually, my Idaho buck was even standing with its ass straighter on, heading on to me. Not a good shot. I wouldn't even take a bow shot at that angle. Right there. Oh dear. It took right off. Right over in those trees. Forget to knock up. Gone. That place isn't really called the Hundred Acre Woods. I just named it that. I think it's uh, some sort of reference to Winnie the Pooh. It's stuck in my head, maybe. It's probably bigger than a hundred acres too. What it is is. It's a wedge of uh, BLM and state land right backed up against the river with private property on both ends and the railroad property over here. But it's a really nice hunt. It's all flat, heavily treed and semi-open. Lots of deer in there. I don't remember how many I saw this morning now, six or seven or eight. Definitely a buck with a doe when I was first walking in and then that last deer And the two before that or the one before the one before that I couldn't tell buck or doe. I have a feeling that one deer that Jumped up with the doe was a buck and I have a feeling this last deer was also a buck it, They were just acting buck like you know usually a doe when you kick up a doe you you get to see it, it stops, and uh, get to confirm it's a doe, but a buck, especially a buck with a doe, yeah, their first instinct is to sneak off. Well, I'm on my way home after hunting the 100 acre woods. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I have a fall turkey tag in my pocket, and there's my Thanksgiving turkey. Actually, several of them. But of course, they're on private property. So, there's nothing to be done about that. Couple of jakes. Oh, there's a nice long beard. That one right there. Look at that beard on that boy. You guys better hope that farmer there already has his butterball out of the freezer and thawing out. <laughs> 